Yes, it is good for deep space visual observations. A 6 inch it's not the same as a 12 inch, remember that visually. Depending on your sky, your darkness, your scene, especially the darkness that you have, your portal. You know that the portal scale? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm on portal 5, the middle. A big city will be at portal 9. Sometimes remember that, for instance, if you live near the desert, Arab people know this very well, you can have a bad sky, portal 9, but a clear one with full of transparency but with light pollution you have to to have both here i have portal 5 so at, at the middle of the range and sometimes i have a, a bad atmosphere bad transparency because of the dust from the sahara desert that reaches on the south of europe you see that the moon here it fits very well in the telescope and it's super large if you use the 25 millimeters eyepiece that uh, likely came with your telescope it to everything will, will be very small with, with this telescope you will see a small even the brightest objects like um, the orion nebula that will pop up in the autumn winter it will be small it will be very small you have to magnify a bit. That's why you need good seeing. Usually what I do, I have a 25mm eyepiece and I insert it in a 5x barlow. This is a good barlow. If you use a cheap one, it will not be so sharp. It's a good one from La Cirta. It gives me 5mm. If the seeing is good, if I have good also good uh, darkness and transparency well the darkness is more or less the same here al always but with a good seeing in combination i can see some like for instance the hercules cluster which is brighter the, the orion nebula which is brighter those ones some galaxies brighter ones like the boats galaxy those kind of objects you know they will be easier for your aperture visually i'm talking visually if you see too much blurred you have to lower and instead of five millimeters I use for instance the 10 millimeters that come with with the, the telescope but i don't like very much that 10 millimeters i like the 25. train averted vision as uh, samir likes a lot also visual he goes on a trip every week or so to a uh, a super dark sky to be in touch with uh, the universe and he knows very well the pleasure of doing visual and not to do it you see begin with clusters and orion nebula a ring nebula another good one ring nebula is very very good for every telescope to begin it was one of the my first planetary nebula that i i watch it visually averted vision it's a nice technique to and wait a bit outside if you go straight away. If I go straight away from here, full of screens, outside to an eyepiece, I will not see any anything. I will have to wait a bit for, for the vision, at least 10, 15 minutes. But what is good on visual? It's you wait 10, 15 minutes, then you start. Then the, the time passes, you are doing the star hoping, which I love, which I love the, to do the star hoping. And then more and more the objects will be sharper because your vision will keep adapting to that darkness and to that uh, your brain it's adapting with your vision working with your vision it's adapting to it isn't it Samir it's adapting to to the the environment that you are watching through an eyepiece and then you will see better and better if you if you are looking for instance this is very clear with a star cluster like the Hercules cluster. If you are watching that cluster, it's super, super bright and, and defined. But at the beginning, you will see like it is like moving and but then it will get sharper and sharper and brighter and sharper and sharp. And with averted vision like Samir uh, did, uh, you will see suddenly you, you will realize that, come on, I'm watching much better now, after this time, than when I, I placed the, the eye at the beginning in the eyepiece. It's a, a, another experience. It's more real, it's 
it's it's limited to our vision it's true it's a shame but see it's what we have and we work with what we have orion nebula i love to watch the orion nebula i i prefer to watch the orion nebula visually than watching here in live streams or whatever <laughs> 